In stage 36 of pack nine, we're gonna be fitting the block assembly, the head block assembly, okay, to the printer body. So make sure you've got the printer body with the fan facing in this direction, okay? And then carefully push the shaft out through the hole like so. And then taking the print head assembly, making sure that you've got the fan facing you and then feed the shaft back through and out through the other side, engaging the runner like so, okay? And once you've done that, pull the other shaft through the hole, make sure got the head facing through and then place that back through that side okay and that completes this stage In stage 37, we're gonna be adding the circuit board that came with this stage to the housing. So take your circuit board, okay, and also take your spacers, uh, identify the difference between the two millimeter and the three millimeter, and take the two millimeter ones and follow the instructions in the positioning of where the two millimeter spaces go. Okay, so place four of those down into position. And then once you've done that, take the screws and put the three millimeter connectors and spaces over the top and then Taking the board, carefully place the screw with the spacer in between the two, and then we're going to carefully place the board onto the base and then fit that. down into position, okay, like so, so that the USB connector is facing the hole at the rear, okay, so you might have to just juggle with that a bit to get that in. Once you've done that, turn it over and then fit the washers and the nuts onto the bottoms, securing that into place. Once you've done that, carefully tighten up the, the nuts and the screws, keeping that into position, and that completes this stage. In stage 38, we're gonna be plugging in the driver board into the main circuit board. But before we do that, we need to remove the top panel. So undo all of the screws, okay, surrounding the top panel, and then carefully lifting that off so that the nuts stay in their position.
Make sure that the back is facing away from you and the front is facing towards you. And then take the top panel from the previous stage, making sure that the two cutouts are facing away from you and that the step, which you can see here, is facing downwards. Okay, carefully place that on the top. Like so. And then secure that back down once again using the screws that you removed earlier. Okay, next take a ruler and measure 300 millimeters, okay, to the end and mark off with a pen. And then once you've done that, bring your cable around and using the two cable ties provided, place the cable into one slot and then carefully place the cable tie through, securing the cable in place. So do that with both cable ties. Once you've done that, take the tubing and the cables, pass that through the hold, the holes just on the side where the noise filter is. Carefully passing that through. Later on, this will be secured to the side using cable ties as you can see the two holes on either side so making sure you've got enough there and then just cut off any remaining tubing and then next we're going to be fitting the board next carefully Pull the two orange wires through the side of the chassis like so and then connect those both up to D10 on the main board and then once you've done that pass it back through noticing how the board connects place it on top of the board making sure none of the wires are in the way Okay, and then just firmly push down like so, and that completes this stage. 